Let's get to our top story, and you may want to take a deep breath for this one. A suicidal young woman and her mother are making a public cry for help, begging for change in how mental illness is treated in this province. Here and now's Megan McCabe has more. That was kind of my issue. We're not going to show it, but underneath Mackenzie's straight sleeve, fresh stitches stick out of self-inflicted wounds. She's 19 and troubled, and she and her mother, Christine Strait, are having trouble getting help from the mental health care system. It's very difficult to keep your own life in your own hands, especially when you don't want it. Can you ever reach the thought that, like, you are loved and valuable, obviously, and it's very important that you're here, and especially for your mother. Can you reach that? I can. I can reach it. But then... The other thoughts just overpower it. I think she can reach it and it is reachable if she gets the help she needs. When someone is saying to you, I don't feel worthy, I don't want to live, I just want to die, that to me is take me seriously, please help me. Just last week, Mackenzie was in the Waterford following a suicide attempt. She says after being told it was time to go home, she slipped into a dissociative state and took the plastic knife from her dinner tray and reopened the self-inflicted wounds on her arm. She hid it, left the Waterford, and attempted suicide again that night, ending up in hospital for three days. Mackenzie says feeling overwhelmed and wanting to end her life is constantly in her mind. And she worries that her borderline personality disorder diagnosis means that doctors won't take her seriously. They see you as, oh, well, you want to die and you're telling someone? Well, then that's attention seeking. A thing with borderline personality disorder is attention seeking. They consistently, you can tell someone you want to hurt yourself, that you want to die, that you'll do it but they just see that as attention seeking. Whereas in, I don't feel like it's like that. They don't give many options. DBT, doing it on your own. If people with mental illnesses could do it on their own, there would, no, there would be no mental illnesses because no one chooses this. No one chooses to be like this or want this. I don't want another suicide attempt um, because that it's killing me. It's killing her. Um, it's you know, and I want help now. It's this is mom's cry for help too because I need her to get help now, and I need someone out there to say, Mackenzie, we take you seriously. Mackenzie, we hear what you're saying, and we're going to help you. Eastern Health says long-term hospitalization for patients like Mackenzie doesn't work, and she agrees. But wait times are too long. Right now, they're told Mackenzie can get into a behavior therapy program called DBT in three months. And they want something more than just being discharged from the hospital into her mom's homemade suicide watch. Right now, Mackenzie is back in hospital following another suicide attempt Monday night. And Christine says they're not doing well. Megan McCabe, CBC News, St. John's. With this family situation and the recent spate of suicides in Labrador West, we will have more coverage on this issue in the coming days. For those who do find themselves in a mental health crisis, Eastern Health operates a free 24-hour confidential mental health crisis line. 1-888-737-4668 and you are encouraged to call.